अब स्टूडेंट्स आप कुछ बात करेंगे अबाउट अनदर टेक्निक व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज द फॉरवर्ड एरर करेक्शन स्टूडेंट्स इन द केस ऑफ एफईसी और फॉरवर्ड एरर करेक्शन द बेसिक पर्पस बिहाइंड दिस इज दैट द रीट्रांसमिशन ऑफ द करप्टेड और द लॉस्ट पैकेट्स इट्स नॉट ऑलवेज एन ऑप्शन इन द केस ऑफ ऑडियो एंड वीडियो ट्रांसमिशंस इफ वी वेट फॉर द करप्टेड और द लॉस्ट पैकेट टू बी ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम द सेंडिंग एंड then the delay is such that our audio or video cannot be recovered properly at the receiving end so students in the case of uh, forward error, error correction we have got a, a a set of techniques which which are categorized under the forward error correction which try to recreate uh, this packet immediately without any delay students the first technique that we are going to be talking about is using hamming distance students humne padha tha that the minimum hamming distance that we had was the number of uh, detectable errors d min is equal to s plus 1 ab students to correct those errors on the spot we need a bigger hamming distance so what we do is we take for the correction of errors we take d min is equal to 2 times t plus 1 where t is the number of errors that can be corrected using this hamming distance So students, in in this particular case, we want to correct 10 bits in a packet. Students, I have told you that for the error correction, our minimum Hamming distance is equal to 2 times t. T is the number of correctable errors plus 1. Students, your minimum Hamming distance is going to be 2 times 10 plus 1, and so your minimum Hamming distance comes out to be 21. students this is the um, number of bits redundant bits that you will send with your data word students as you can see this is a large amount of uh, redundancy and so Uh, in other words this is a a kind of a drawback of this particular case um, for example we have got uh, an example of a bch code that's given in your test textbook and in this case if the data is um, 99 bits your actual data is 99 bits if you do the maths we need to send a total of 255 bits and out of those 255 bits unfortunately 156 bits is your um, redundant bits or um, your overhead and it will only correct 23 bit errors this is all that we are targeting and we are sending 156 extra bits with this data this is the case of a, a famous bch code ab students this um, actually makes uh, hamming distance slightly inefficient as compared to the other forward error correction techniques that we will be talking about our students the second technique that we have got the second forward error correction technique that we can also use is by using the exclusive or students um, as you can see the exclusive or operation in this particular case it states that we have if you've got an exclusive or which is represented by r and we have got a data range of uh, p1 all the way to pn we can do the exclusive or of all those um, data words and therefore we can actually calculate a particular data word by replacing that with the previous uh, data word students once again let's go to the slide and let's try to find out how this uh, technique works so students on the on the slide as you can see we have got um, n data items and those data items are from p1 all the way till pn ab students um, as i told you using this exclusive or we can recreate any of the data items by using x or of all the items and by replacing one to be created by the result of the previous operation which is given by r so this operation is r which is the exclusive or of all our data items so in this case if you want to find for example pi the pi using the exclusive or operation is equal to your p1 exclusive or p2 exclusive or 
all the way till P, P i and instead of P i the previous operation was r so we replace that with r and then this goes all the way to P n. So this essentially means that what, 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 what we have done is we have divided the packet into n chunks. So our overall packet will be divided into n chunks and what we are sending is n plus 1 chunks. And so n plus 1 chunks are sent. So students, if any chunk is lost or corrupted, then it can be created at the receiver side by using this extra chunk that we are sending by using um, exclusive OR. Students, um, just to further explain, if n in this particular case is 4, then um, using this exclusive OR, you can find out that we'll essentially need to send 25% um, um, extra data in this uh, in this technique which uses um, exclusive OR and we will be able to correct one out of four chunks if that gets lost.